my channel. Thank you for watching my videos, liking, sharing, and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. You know, continue to support me through this journey. And today, my video is gonna be on different sports in my birth country. I don't know if I mentioned this in any previous videos that I've made, but I was born and raised in the beautiful island of Dominica. It's located in the Caribbean between St. Lucia and Antigua, um, or in the French countries between Guadeloupe and Marigallan, or Les Saints, however you look at it on the map. And you know, going to school here, especially in high school, I got asked some very ridiculous questions. You know, some is still here in the top of my on the top of my mind, and others I try to forget about. But this one, you know, since my channel is about sports, and the question I got asked a lot in high school, you know, is do they play sports in Dominica? And Yes, I find it ridiculous that, you know, people would ask such a question in, in the 2000s, but I just put it on the fact that a lot of people here in America don't leave America. They've never traveled, so they, they have, haven't had experience with other countries or to learn other cultures. And, you know, sometimes those questions come, it might seem dumb, you know, at the time, but it's people being curious. Sometimes there was people um, um, just being troublesome, you know, but they want to tease you in high school, you go through it. But, you know, for the most times I find it, I found it pretty ridiculous. But I answered anyway, yes, we have, we do have sports in my country. We have numerous um, um, sports, just like um, in relations to American sports, we have basketball, we play soccer, we have rounders. You know, a lot of people here might not know what rounders is. It's a bit, it has the same similarities as baseball, you know, in the way the rules and the makeup of it and, and the instructions, basically. But it's, it's instead of a full-on bat like baseball, you have a round, something almost like a ping pong bat you hit the ball with. And we have track and field, of course, you know, that's, we, we, we love running in the Caribbean. That's, as you know, the world probably knows now. And cricket, we got cricket. That's one of our top sports in, in my country, I believe. Um, followed by um, followed by tr track and field, netball, which is you know, the I, I call net I consider netball the girl version of basketball, but the ball doesn't touch the floor, so it's a very complicated you know sports to learn. And my sister played it while she was back home, and it's a very competitive sports in the Caribbean too. They have tournaments between different countries in the Caribbean as well. There's, we have, uh, during the summer, there's various tournaments, basketball tournaments, and soccer as well, soccer tournaments, cricket tournaments. Our cricket team, you know, goes all over the Caribbean to play against different um, countries in cricket tournaments. And some of the players on our cricket team also get selected to play for the West Indies on the 18 or on the 20. So we, we have numerous different sports. You know, it's sports, I believe, in our culture is very big. You know, we're, we're very, we love cricket. You know, our, I, I feel like our fan base in my country is more towards cricket than any of the other sports that I named. And we also play tennis. Some people play tennis. They have tennis also. We do have sports in my country, which is part of the reason why I love basketball today, because that's the first place I played basketball before I moved here to 
America in 2007. And I also ran back home. I didn't really run competitively, but we had sports day in our primary school. It, we have all these different events and running is one of them. They have um, rounders. You have various different um, events to partake in. So then there's this, um, there's cross country. I did participate in cross country when I was back home, which is what kind of made me realize that I wasn't a sprinter and I wasn't really a distance runner, but I fell right between. I had a little bit of speed and a little, you know, stamina. Runner. Even if my coach in college believed that I was a, a, a distance runner, Mr. Stoney, yeah, I'm talking about you, Stoney. Shout out to Stoney. He's, he's a track head, man, you know. If you're in the New York base, you could hit me up. If you're a distance runner and, you know, I have a coach that could train you. If you're looking for a coach, somebody to train you. He's a very good coach. I definitely recommend him to anybody that wants to, to be a, a good distance runner. He has, he has these unorthodox ways of training his athletes. I must warn you, he, he's insane when it comes to this running game. His training will, speaks for itself. And you would see changes in, in, your, in your running abilities. But yeah, that carried away a little bit here, but that's fine, you know. You know, for you people who still were, you know, kind of curious or was just being ridiculous, it doesn't matter. There's sports in Dominica. We play a lot of sports. We're very active people. We love our cricket. We love our soccer. And we love our netball. Basketball is gradually, I, I believe, inching its way into the top five. You know, I would say, oh, I would say the top three to be in like a love. But the top three sports in my country today that we love daily is cricket, netball, and soccer, which we call football. But, you know, so there's no conflict and people think it's American football, it's football. So soccer, better known as soccer to a lot of people here. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my content. You know, share with your friends, share with your 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 significant others, your family, it doesn't matter, you know, help me grow my channel and I'll have more great content coming your way. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm out. Boom.